Howdy, how's it going? Welcome back to Pokemon Fool's Gold. Uh, this is technically episode 17 then, or episode two of the Savvy Islands. Thank you all so much for your support on the uh, recap slash episode 16 slash episode one of Savvy Islands. I don't really know how I'm titling these, but thank you. Uh, it makes me really happy. I was a bit nervous that people weren't really gonna enjoy it. So I'm glad that you guys did. If you wanna keep supporting, please, please leave a like. And uh, if you haven't watched all the other videos in the series, you don't have to, but this is essentially just a long, a long winded reaction to Pokemon sprites. That's all these videos are. But we've got some new content here, which is very exciting. You know, the Savvy Islands are different now in Pokemon Fool's Gold uh, compared to how they are in Fire Red Leaf Green. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, now, I remember at the end of the last video, I was like, oh, I might have to go do some grinding. Uh, but I ultimately decided not to um, because I didn't really know where to start because I mean, the Pokemon I want to use are going to evolve off camera. So like, I, I figured I'd just do them on screen, man. And they're already like relatively high leveled as it is anyway. So um, I think we'll just box my other guys. I mean, I am actually kind of tempted to use a Typhlosion because I like this thing. This thing is so fucking cool. But then part of me also wants to use this menace right here. This thing is so dope too. Lotad, that is a Wingle in his mouth, I believe. He's like a, he like waits for Wingles and he eats them. It's the Sevian Blastoise of the game. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's Pelipepper. I don't, I don't know exactly. Okay, hold on here. Yeah, you know what? Let's take Geezer. I also want to take Toaf. We've got this Whelmer as well that we need to check out the evolution of. And then of course there's Mudkip too. Bro, why does he build like that? Unironically, I do like this thing though. I think there was somewhere like I could literally buy like evolution stones. I'm going to assume that Geezer evolves with that, right? We've got a bunch of different evolution stones. I don't know if any of them evolve him, but I can only assume they would, right? Oh, it is the Firestone. Okay. I mean, I had a feeling that makes sense because he's meant to be like, I guess, glass. He's meant to be like, a, I guess, like it's glass that's on his head. So it makes sense that like fire would then, you know, evolve him. So uh, Ludicolo, um, why, is his, why is his dick out? They, they cover in his dick. Okay. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. This is definitely some Nihilego inspiration. It's a fire ground type. It can freely form glass using its own intense body heat. It likes to make small glass. I, I don't know what that word is. A small object that is decorative rather than strictly functional. A trinket. Okay. Chochka. According to Google, it is a chalk. Chalk. I forgot to say already. He's a glasssmith Pokemon. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Ludicolo being a glasssmith, bro? That type combo is absolute ass, by the way. So I think our first order of business is to evolve the starter Pokemon. It is a little unfortunate that the, the Fools Pokemon were added this way. I think they did it because people were asking, hey, can you guys make uh, Pokemon Fool Sapphire or whatever? And they were just like, no, but fine. I guess we'll add some DLC. I, I just wish I could catch and train these Pokemon throughout the entire playthrough. That's that's all I mean. I'm super grateful and happy that they're here, but I just wish I could catch and train them from the start of the game. Anyways, I believe Island 2 is apparently good for grinding, I was told uh, by, by Saladonk themselves. So um, we'll go to Island 2. Let me fly in the back of my beak. Now, something I forgot to mention in the last episode about beak, I accidentally overwrote Hyper Voice, I think it was, with fly. I, over I overwrote a good, vo uh, a good move with fly so <laughs> i'm kind of mad at myself because there's no movie learner in this game either yeah i think it was definitely hyper voice so i'm definitely mad at myself for that but what can you do i mean i guess i could go catch another one but that's a lot of effort i'm gonna go ahead and teach surf to mudkip i think physical special split is in this game by the way wait wait he has whirlpool as as a hm as like a mo what the fuck dude he just knows whirlpool and it's a hm he, he literally learned that by level up that's not my fault not i hate hm so much so he has a new move which i actually haven't checked out let's check this out monsoon an attack that causes rainfall oh that's fucking insane holy shit and i've got thunder too dude this thing is cracked yeah i think giving it surf on, instead of protect uh will be, will be good because i mean obviously monsoon only has uh five pp that's fucking crazy dude they were just like yeah dynamax moves let's just put them into normal moves we do a little bit of surfing oh we found an encounter is it gonna be just mudkip so it's gonna be something new Ah, uh, what the oh it's oh it's azuril yeah i forgot azuril's a hoenn pokemon isn't he um well this isn't super exciting because we've obviously already seen Maril and azumarill uh but azuril's cool thoughts lotad is actually uh lotad's favorite pokemon is actually the Maril line well Maril. <laughs> I don't think he cares for a zoomer all much. Thoughts on thoughts on this bubble? I, he's I feel like he's meant to be like microscopic or something. He's tiny. All right, well, let me catch it, I suppose. Ah, it's a water flying type. It has trouble staying in one place as it is easily blown around by the wind. And it is 0 0.08 height. I don't 
I don't know how to read, read height. Cool. I'm obviously never going to use this because we've already seen the evolutions, but that's that's pretty neat. I mean, it's quite hard for me to get a grasp of what island we're on at, when I first come here. But yeah, this literally is the same like layout as the second island. Obviously, they've probably changed some things because I don't remember there being a cut tree in the original. But yeah, OK. Um. So up here, there's a waterfall. Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't like waterfall. Who the hell? Hold on. Let me do waterfall first. So much new things to explore. Nope. Only person can learn it. Let's climb this waterfall. Oh, is this one of the shrines that we need to take on? OK. Sorry. Sorry, bud. We're doing some light renovations upstairs, so we can't let any challengers in at the moment. We're almost done, though, so you can do a bit of training in the grass outside. We'll probably be finished after you do that. If I remember correctly, this guy over here is like meant to be like our rival. Oh, hey, it's Puchiana. Oh my god, he looks so sad. I'm gonna catch him. All right, what type are you looking like, bro? Normal. Also, this Pokemon is incredibly silly. It loves to make other people and Pokemon laugh. Aw, he looks so miserable, though. He kind of looked like me for real, for real. Uh, I'm gonna save. I'm pretty sure I know who this is. Yep, it's fucking. Fucking Eris, dude. This fucking, you caught me off guard in the middle of my training. Say you want to battle? No, to be honest, not really. Uh, I'm going to reset because last time we battled him, he was like level 90 fucking three. Not about that life. I need to train. Oh, hot dog. Hell, Cacnea? He's a, he's a snowman now. That's so silly. Destiny bond. All right, dog. And of course, I accidentally kill it with a crit. I'm so fucking mad, dude. I just wanted to catch it. I do need more balls, to be honest. Oh, I found a max revive. Poggers Airlines. All right, what's going on in here? Let me have a look around. Oh, a visitor. Thank you for speaking with me. Here's a gift for your troubles. Okay, that's kind of lame. Didn't this used to be like the Dodrio, like the weird Dodrio arcade thing in Fire Leaf Green? They just gave me a TM instead. What are you doing, fool's gold programmers? I want you to program in a full-on mini game for me. Rrr. Obviously being sarcastic. Please don't hunt me down. All right, TM57 is Aerial Ace. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I get other cool moves like side punch and scale slash, then I'm just giving aerial lace. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. All right, what's going on in here? It's usually the mushroom guy, right? I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Meditite? I want to trade for my Chingling. I don't even know what those Pokemon are. Stop talking to me. Wait, Chingling's Gen 4. Why is Chingling in this game? Huh? Yeah, there's some, there's some, there's some Pokemon that break the, the break the barrier. All right, I need to teach Cut to someone. I don't really want to though. I fucking hate HMs, dude. I, I, I hate it. That is one thing I'm gonna bitch about a little bit with Fool's Gold. They, they want to, um, they want to keep the Gen 2 aesthetic and uh, the Gen 2 like. Yeah, HMs are a Gen 2 thing. You know, we got to keep them because I don't fucking know. Uh, but let's also add physical special split. <laughs> like what? Just don't personally agree with HMs. All right, the snowball Pokemon. It is unknown how this Pokemon thrives in tropics. Either way, it seems content. You know, I'm, I'm just as long as you're happy, Cacnea, I'm happy. Oh, Spinda, what the fuck are you? Holy shit. Spinda, Spinda's colors looking kind of crazy. What's going on with Spinda? Are you a water type now, bro? Nope, that was not resisted. Well, I'm gonna try and catch it. And catch it, I did. It's a dizzy Pokemon, it's a poison type now. It is perpetually dizzy. From its own poison it stumbles into other pokemon and infects them you know that's pretty that's pretty cool they kept his personality but now he's just poisoned all right what's going on over here there's a kind of pokemon here called Zuril. it's distant relative of Meryl that you're familiar with. Despite this, they're not related by a Wait, what? That's kind of fucking crazy. So maybe they gave a Zuril uh, some stats of its own so it doesn't like suck ass. Wait, what the fuck? Why are you out of bounds? Okay. Can I also go? Oh, I can. Okay, so that's just not a mistake. Surely. Why are you out of bounds? Come down from there. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Hello. I'm saving. Coo. Um, I don't really know what this is. It is... Oh, it's... Oh, wait, what? It's Cacturn and Shiny? I'm safe staying right there. Holy shit. Guys, I need to test something. It must be a guaranteed Shiny. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, Um, guaranteed Shiny Cacturn. Level 95, by the way. I might just fucking use it on my team for levels, to be honest. I don't really know how to catch this. I'll use Scorching Sands. Liquify? Wait, do you turn yourself into a water type? Oh, wait, what the... A speed, a speed F went way up and his speed went speed went way up. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of a cool move. And we got the burn nice. Yay, we caught it. Let's go. So this is what it normally looks like. It's an ice ghost type. It cannot melt as it's already dead. It spooks people by sneaking behind them without warning. That was that was an interesting encounter. So this is probably this region's version of Red Gyarados, if I had to assume. That's pretty fucking cool. Definitely gonna add that to my team. It's probably gonna suck because it's a fucking ice types, and ice types are just not good. But it is level 95, so I will not complain. All right, person, I'll deposit you for now. I'm sorry. I'll bring shade with me. So what's this thing's stats look like? Okay, so its stats aren't like the best. I mean, I guess it's better than um, it's better than Puchiana's. Wow. Okay. It is a usable Pokemon by itself. It's a water flying type. Maybe I should use it. 
Maybe I should get an Azure well and use it. All right, let's check what's over here because usually this isn't a, an accessible area, I believe. I look, you want a shiny hunt for this thing. A lot of people might complain that Mara Azure well doesn't evolve into Maril anymore, but I'm glad that they did it that way because it just, it means Azure well can actually be used, you know, because otherwise you're just going to evolve this thing into Maril and Azure Maril, which you can already have used in your game earlier. Like it, this is a good, this is a good choice in my opinion. I believe the shiny odds in this game are like one in 1024. So like I definitely could shiny hunt for it. All right, what's going on in here? So is this the sweet shop I was told about? Good day, welcome to the Two Island Sweet Shop. Okay, here our goal is to make a dream come true, both through candy and battle. Each day we put up a special challenge for our patrons. If you can beat five of our best confectioners in a row, then you'll get some candy on the house. Of course, you need to make sure there's room in your bag to carry it. What do you say? You wanna take on our challenge? Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I should, but like I don't really have like my best team right now. This thing's pretty strong actually. Holy shit, look at this spit Do I gain EXP? You know what? I'm gonna save and then I'm just gonna give it a shot, man. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball, you know? All right, let's get this show on the road, I suppose. Okay, here's battle number one. Okay, he doesn't say anything to me. He just fucking walks up and starts fighting me. Gentleman Darcy sends in an Ariados. Spooky. Level 64. Okay, I can handle that, I think. Shade's back probably looks quite small. Uh, Liquify was pretty cool. Frostbite is special. Stone Edge is physical. Um, okay, he doesn't have the best moves ever, but fuck it, we'll, we'll just Frostbite. What's that gonna do? We are... Okay, yeah, we're 30 levels higher. Do I gain? Oh, I do gain EXP for it. Okay, so this isn't a bad idea. Since we're gaining EXP for it, I'm going to stay here. Four Pokemon. Okay, he's got Soul Rock. Oh, wow, I've got the change uh, on. Okay, let's see. What's Soul Rock look like? Holy shit. Okay, Soul Rock looks kind of fucking insane now. Um, I feel like he's just a raw fire type, so I'm going to Stone Edge it. Let's see how much this does. Stone Edge animation is sick. That wasn't super effective nor resisted, so... Wicked Blow it just straight up Oko's me. Cool. I feel like Wicked Blow is that move that's guaranteed to crit, right? Okay, come on, let's do this net. Hit him with the Moon Son. I wonder what type that thing is. What the hell? It wasn't super effective. Armaldo. Dude, I'm getting, I'm getting to see all these crazy mons. Armaldo. What the fuck is up with Armaldo, dude? I'm gonna thunder. Oh shit, it's a ground type. That's my bad. I'm gonna hydro pump you now. Let's go. You miss. Of course you fucking miss. I'm so sad. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset, okay? Or I, mean, I need to go do some training. I need to hyperbolic time chamber this shit. I mean, I guess uh, I can try out three island. Fuck it, why not? Let's check everything out, man. Rumors of children being kidnapped in the berry forest. Oh yeah. Those are nothing but tall tales. I mean, the music says otherwise, right? Cane Island of Family Bonding. Okay. You must never, ever cross Bond Bridge alone. Why? There's a swamp monster lurking. Swamp monster, eh? Papa keeps lying to me and won't let me go out and swim. Here, I'll go catch the swamp monster and then you guys can go swim all you want, okay? You know what? I keep seeing fucking balls trapped behind cut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get cut. I fucking hate, I hate TMs, bro. I hate. Hey, gems rather, sorry. Yo, TM60. This better be the fucking best TM of all time if I'm using cut to get it. TM60 wound up being Charbroil. Okay, you know what? It's not a bad move. It's basically Swift, uh, but fire type and also a lot stronger than Swift. It just it just doesn't miss. Okay, it's a fire type move that doesn't miss. Pretty cool. You know, Pepper, Pepper's pretty useful. I'm gonna use Pepper a lot. All right, Pepper, let's fly back to Second Island. Let's get this damn TM58. Sand Tomb, that was not worth it. All right, back to Three Island. All right, what's going on up here? Gonna train my new Ninkata at Berry Forest. When it evolves, um, it'll be ready to take on Magdal Magdalen. Okay, Magdalen. Oh wait, is there something behind? Oh wait, that was the DM, right? <laughs> I'm insane. Three Island is actually one of the most populous islands. Still, it could be less sleepy. Torchic's cute, but I don't have it. Do you have a Torchic? Email. Want to trade it for my Swablu? Okay. So that person wants the rarer Torchic. I don't even know where Torchic lives, bro. I've never even seen a Torchic. Shrine leader on this island is an enigma. Few people know her name. Or that the shrine in Berry Forest is filled with ghosts. That's just a rumor, right? Rumor. Right? Fucking Scooby Doo looking motherfucker. Bond Bridge. All right. And of course, you need Cut to just cross it, dude. I'm I I'm just gonna bitch about HMs. And you know what's crazy? Back in the day, I used to be a I used to be a HM enjoyer. Not so much an enjoyer, but I used to always not care about teaching it to my Pokemon. I was like, oh wait, hold on, hello. They made him a, they made him a, a fungus. I always used to be like, you know, if you guys just teach your Pokemon HMs, it makes the game harder because their moves suck. But nowadays, I don't believe that. I just think it's stupid to teach your Pokemon. I just, it just doesn't feel good. It just doesn't know. I mean, there's a reason Pokemon don't do it anymore. All right, we call it Mushroom Boy. Grass Poison type. It sways gently from side to side. Many people like this Pokemon for its calm and bashful demeanor. The fungus Pokemon. Number 15. Has any of my members claimed this? They haven't. All right, you know what's going on. 
wait, do they, do they not have, do numbers not exist yet? I guess numbers didn't exist yet back in, when was Pokemon Gold and Silver released? Pokemon Crystal was released in 2001. Yeah, numbers didn't exist yet in 2001. That's kind of, that's a crazy fact for you guys. Cool, this thing's just called number with a space. Because <laughs> I, <laughs> I could not name it number 15. <laughs> Hello, small children. I'm going to show off my favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is the best. Award-winning dialogue by Pokemon. Delcaddy. Okay. Already seen this thing. Ratio. And Exploit. Oh, I've not seen Exploit. Yeah, hold on. What's going on here? Yo, they gave him the Dunsparce treatment. They made him absolutely demonic. What the fuck is going on here? He's a dark type? Question mark? Oh, I'm still an edge is super effective. You, you, you might be like a dark fire type. Kind of cool. No, Meg. Oh, joy. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Sorry, I'll never do that again, guys. I apologize. Okay, well, they, they made Masquerina stick figure, apparently. Oh, Frostbite can burn, apparently. I don't know why that wasn't more apparent to me. Bug poison type. Dude, these guys are going crazy with these type combos. My word, dude. How'd they come up with that? It will attempt to drain a foe of all of its energy until it's nothing but a husk. It makes a low buzzing sound. I want this Mosquito to drain me. Please, Masquerina. Rain, drain me. Uh, Curly lives here too. Okay. All right. We can have some redemption going on. I won't call it number 15. Wait, I'm probably going to kill it, aren't I? Yeah, that's super effective. I'm stupid. Aw, Surskit's actually really cute. This is actually better than real Surskit. I like this. They are regarded as one of the biggest pests of the Sevi region. Their bites are incredibly itchy. He, he's the sucker Pokemon. He's cute. Leave him alone. I kind of wish he was separate to Masquerade. I would use him. All right, Curlia, round two. All right, we caught it. Oh my god. Groups of Curlia congregate around Rot and Decay. Its spores can make people dizzy. Okay. Toadstool Pokemon. Hello! I'm just going to name it whatever I name all my Gardevoirs. I don't care that it's a mushroom now. Can't believe they made a Gardevoir a mushroom. I can't fucking believe it. Can you believe it, Chad? They made, the, they made Gardevoir a mushroom. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I don't know what sort of accent that was meant to be. I apologize deeply. Now that I like, I'm going to catch a bunch of Mons and evolve them. Then I'm going to level them up like off camera. That's sort of like my plan for today. I'm going to explore and catch some Pokemon. Wherever you're off to in such a hurry. Your mom's house. Lol. All right. Teacher Violet? Yo, hey, yo. New trainer class dropped. Pretty fucking cool. Gardevoir. Oh, fuck. Okay, cool. Just spoil, spoil it for me. Ew. Why does she look like that? I'm not really a fan of this. At least people will stop calling Gardevoir their waifu, though. Surely that will cease. Surely that will no longer be a thing that is in my comments. What Venusaur is this? Is this the spicy? Ah, this is the old one. This is mid Venusaur. Ah, uh, you better not Oko me. I've got high speed F. You better not Oko me. Are you level 87? Okay, I, I can take that. Now, please, Stone Edge land. Let's go. Get absolutely slam dunked. Oko, ratio. Fuck, how did you live? The sun is up now too. Fuck, dude. I told you this thing would suck, dude. I, I, ice types are just ass. All right, I'm gonna sack Pepper. Pepper! He synthesis up and the sun's up too. Fuck, he got me, dude. He just boomed me. He just boomed me. Look at, Jesus Christ. The sun just heals him all the way. Oh, fuck that, dude. I'm not, I'm not okay with this. I'm gonna try and liquefy. Oh, he's using growth. Ah, fuck. You know what? I could just destiny bond. Yeah, I'm gonna destiny bond, dude. Go ahead, kill me. I lived? All right, I'm stone edging again. Fuck you. It growthed again. That's fine. And now I'm gonna frostbite and hopefully kill it. That was such a stupid song and dance, bro. I just wanted Venusaur to kill me. Camera upped. Oh yeah, we've heard whispers of camera upped. What's camera upped all about, huh? Oh my God, wait, that's fucking awesome. I sent in net assuming it was going to be a fire ground type. I can I always forget that they've changed. Dude, this is probably one of the best redesigns so far. This thing looks fucking amazing. I absolutely love this. I genuinely am so impressed by that. That is such a good redesign. This thing's raising his spadef. Can you stop it, sir? What type are you? Flamethrower? Okay, so maybe he's a water fire type. That would make sense. Yeah, he seems to be a water fire type. I'm gonna thunder. What are we looking like? Okay, it's super effective. Cool. I right, I'm in this. Hydro pump live. What the fuck? He is 13 levels higher and I am a baby to be fair. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna stone edge it. Let's go. Stone edge never misses. This thing is so cool. I actually love that. I want one so bad. Jesus, dude. She gave, she had hands. Oh, <gasps> Ninkata. Oh my God. He must be a rare encounter here. Oh my God. What is, what is up with you? What are you doing? All right. We caught it. Nice. It's just a pure bug type. Now it's a nymph. It uses uh, flashy colors to ward off any attackers and flees after it is stunned. Okay. There are so many cool new Pokemon, dude. Holy shit. All right. Onwards. On bridge is currently of commission. Feel free to swim across, but beware of the swamp monster. Okay. Arr, I was going to Berry Forest, but there's a monster in the water. <laughs> okay. Having convenient licky licky fucking bozo oh yeah lota has not seen this one yet either has he fucking applin type beat i wish dragon i had a different form all right there's a monster in the swamp apparently question mark we'll see about that oh oh it's a he's a little boy he's just a baby what do you mean he's a monster he's so friendly oh my god i love that 
He's built so funny. The Otter Pokemon, despite its cute appearance, it has very sharp teeth, capable of crushing even the toughest shells. That's a baby. Oh, I accidentally got into a battle, my bad. Dude, these levels are insane. This is one of the best full sculpt Pokemon. I love it so much. All right, we have Marshomp now, which we've already seen last episode, but we, we have one now. Bro, you're trying to learn Spark. You literally know thunder. Get a grip. Oh, we've not actually caught it. Marshomp is a relaxed and friendly Pokemon. It is particularly popular with small children. He's pretty, he's pretty cute. I do like that redesign. Oh, is there just a, just a forest? Or is it just a, wait. Oh, is it, oh, it's like a gate. Okay, that's fine. Hello. At school, I was taught to use a variety of moves. I wish that were me. Ah, uh, hello, Shedinja. Uh, okay, so Shedinja does exist in this game. Uh, it does not affect the enemy Shedinja. Wait, how did they program Wonder Guard into this? I'm assuming they program Wonder I'm gonna Destiny Bond it. I'm assuming it's got Wonder Guard, right? If it's not being affected by anything. Maybe, maybe it's question mark, question mark, question mark type. I don't know. And I'm gonna fight a Gengar, okay. Now I can fucking enter. Oh my God, okay. I need Flash. I have Flash. I'm just, I'm just letting it be known that I need Flash. I need to fly back. I need to heal my mons and I need to get some fucking potion, uh, not potions, catching items. Pokeballs, I hear they call them. Dude, I literally have like no fucking money, dude. I need to sell some shit. I think my mom's collecting money for me though. Wait, I just realized, are, are infinite TMs in this game too? If Yeah, infinite TMs are in this game too. Dude, what do you mean keeping it real to the gen two experience, bro? Infinite TMs are in this game, that's crazy. I'm gonna get rid of Stone Edge for, um, Shadow Ball. Stone Knight has been useful, but this thing's more of a special attacker. I need to go back and grab whatever money my mom has. Oh, she's got a significant amount of money. You know what? Fuck it. Give me that. I need that. All right, back over here. Oh, there's Lanoon. Okay, Lanoon looks pretty cool. Zigzagoon looks cooler, but Lanoon looks pretty cool. The swamps this Pokemon live in help disguise it. It uses natural camouflage to catch prey. Water ground type. Bog Pokemon. Pretty cool. All right, let's check out this damned area. I'm gonna flash it, please. Okay, thank God. Okay. All right, what's going on in this damn forest? Carlia, Sirsky. It's stuff we've already seen. Then Kata. <gasps> Mawile! Oh my god, let's fucking go! I, you, if you guys didn't know, I'm a big Mawile enjoyer. That's so cool. Dude, she's just a plant now. She's a Venus flytrap. All right, the flytrap Pokemon, Grass Steel type. Rumor has it that this Pokemon was bioengineered to get rid of pests found in the Sevi region. Wow, okay, so she's like a robot. That's pretty cool, I love that. Uh, Bill's calling me. Oh, I hate the Pokemon storage system. Oh, oh I've got a... A battle out of my way kid i'm off to take on the shrine all right biker paxton you have a regular magmotar lol i only know what the shiny one looks like because i'm a fucking god gaming shiny hunter this thing is just beating my ass i this isn't i don't mean to just bitch and complain but this isn't fun it's just not fun the level di the level difference is just cringe like how do you expect me to use the new pokemon if they're just I, I i just don't know what to do it just sucks i've just got to rely on this one pokemon because i'm trying to find new pokemon to use i'm trying my fucking hardest to evolve this mudkip it's been like nearly an hour of battling fucking things all right let's just get deeper into this forest super stoked to see mawile thinking about using it thinking about it like dude what the fuck are these levels you have a level 69 one minute and a level 90 the other like what's going on level 80 sand slash like what is happening Honcho is so cool. Please just evolve. Yes. Okay. We're finally going to get to see what Swampert's looking like in this game. Um, I really do enjoy the concept of this electric water mudkip. So yeah, pretty natural progression. I love it. I absolutely love this. this. This is a big improvement on Swampert in my opinion. I love the colors. I love electric water type. It's the Elifrog. It's fiercely protective, especially of those smaller than itself. It lets out sharp electric shocks. Awesome Pokemon. Definitely going to be using that. I just hate how long it took to get it. And now it's usable. So I'm going to put it up front. One more trainers to battle in here. Venusaur. You know the boring Venusaur though. I guess the more Pokemon a trainer has, like the the the, the more rounded out their levels are. The trainers are six Pokemon and they're all like decently leveled. Like I would rather just have a bunch of that than have like a trainer with like level 90s, but only got like four. I would rather just every trainer have four Pokemon, or six Pokemon with them being like the same level as me. Like that, that's fine. Even if they're just slightly higher, like it genuinely does not, does not bother me. This is much more fair. All right, I just want to find this monster, bro. Pidgeot, this is, okay, this is the Cantonian version of Pidgeot because that's not what Pidgeot looks like. So like I said in the last episode, there are some Pokemon that uh, have different forms. I'm sure you guys already get it. This is Cantonian Pidgeot. He's, he's got a, he's like a mafia boss with a gun. That's funny. Level 97. See, that's just stupid. That's just fucking stupid. Fuck you, dude. I gained like a little baby amount of experience with that. Whatever. All right. Toph is evolving. We're going to get Grovile. Pretty natural progression, but he's got a massive dump truck tail. Absolutely love it. Just want to learn Swords Dance. Uh, I'll get rid of False Swipe. It swings its tail to attack. If the hit lands, the inflicted wound becomes infected. He's just a pure poison type still. Here for it. All the way over here, there's a TM. TM59. TMs hold a lot more value now that I know that they're actually relearnable. Our energy Ball. Okay. Pretty good move. Just try and beat me, noob. Who are you calling a noob, Oswald? What type of name is Oswald, bro? I forget what type this thing is. Dead type. 
It's a viper. Oh, what's the viper gonna be in this game? You gonna be a dragon or some shit? Uh oh! Oh, that's so fucking cool! He's like, okay, I see what's going on here. Is he like a I don't know if he's a ghost? He's like he's like a snake. He's like coming out of like a, a snake charming. You know what I'm talking about? That's fucking sick, dude. How have we not had that as a Pokemon yet? I guess Spiritomb's kind of like that, but he's not a snake. That's fucking awesome. I love that. They did well by Seviper. Are you a ghost type? Be honest. That's resisted. So maybe he's a dark type. Yeah, he must be a dark type. Okay, that's sick. I love that. We've got Weaval here, which Weaval looks absolutely bonkers in this game. And it's faster than me. Okay. Love being okoed by everything. Holy shit. Just gotta adapt and use up all my revives and hyper potions and shit. I had an amulet coin. I need to grab that and take it off. Take it off one of my Pokemon. Uh, okay. The Shrine of Radiance leader, Magdalene. Is this something I can do right now? Welcome to the Shrine of Radiance. Here we focus on the natural beauty and the power of Pokemon. I'll open up the gate for you. Okay, so is this the first one we can actually do? Good luck on your trials. Okay, well, I did not expect this. I don't think I'm quite ready yet, to be honest. I personally would like to level up my Pokemon a little bit more. Now that I've got some more Pokemon to choose from, you know, make like a team out of them. Level them up off camera. Evol if I evolve them off camera, I'll get loads had to put it at the start of the episode. Oh, I just got a shiny. Surskit, cool. Told you the shiny odds are pretty high. All right, I think we'll call that for today's episode. I don't want these episodes to drag on too long. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate all the support as always on these series. Please let me know that you want more. Uh, I'm gonna go do some off camera shenanigans uh, in the meantime. Uh, of course, anything that happens, I will I, I will show, don't worry. I, I will show proof of work. Uh, appreciate you guys. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye. Uh...